Hi everybody and welcome to this uh, compilation of the best synth news of uh, NAMM 2021, Believe in Music. The NAMM show is a yearly trade show usually held in Anaheim, California. Last year I was there to take a look at some new music gear and if you want to watch that NAMM 2020 video you can click the card up here. This year, due to the current COVID-19 crisis, with the public gathering restrictions, traveling restrictions and whatnot, the convention now appears in a digital form called Believe in Music. Of course, we can't cover all the new synths and products, but we will cover what I believe is some really cool new synths and products. Let's take the tour. Right, so first out today, we have the Juno synth from IK Multimedia. It's an analog synth with uh, three voltage controlled oscillators. It's a paraphonic dual filter synth with uh, PVM, sync, FM and ring modulation. It features a 64 step sequencer and I think it's a, it's a really appealing design if we look at, uh, at the release images here. It has uh, CV, gate, MIDI ins, outs and uh, audio inputs which can uh, run through the filters with uh, effect pass through. So you have uh, apparently 24 different filter types. So it's a really clean design. And as you can see there's a Fatar keybed version and they also have a version which is uh, more of a desktop version, a bit smaller. So I see if I can get my hands on one of these for and do a proper review video. So the price for this one is around 500 euros for the desktop pro version, the Unison Pro desktop version. And it's 800 euros for the bigger keyboard version of the Unison Pro. Let's take a listen to another sound demo of the Unisynth Pro. That's a really beautiful sound, really fat analog uh, pad right there. Right, so next up we have some synths from Korg. And uh, Korg at this year's NAM has a floor of new synths released. And one of them is this uh, Korg Wavestate SE, which is a full-sized uh, keypad version of the original Wavestate. This new version of the Wavestate also features uh, aftertouch on the keypad, which uh, wasn't available on the previous version of of the wave state. So this is all about uh, wave sequencing and you can see that uh, vector control. So you can uh, morph between different uh, waves. The front panel and the knobs on the wave state are made of uh, rugged aluminium so uh, it's uh, definitely going to be a very sturdy uh, unit. You have a 64 voice polyphony and a, a numerous filter option to include models of the Poly 6 and the MS20. So that's a brief look at the Korg Wavestate SE. Next up is the Korg ModWave. And this is a wavetable synthesizer building on the groundbreaking Korg DV8000. So it's uh, all about uh, wavetable synthesis, but uh, apparently you can blend uh, PCM samples with the wavetables for all new timbers. It features a 32 note polyphony and you have this uh, Chaos Physics pad. And it also has uh, the motion sequencing 2.0 which was uh, released on uh, the wave state. I 
I did watch the live stream from Korg on the mod wave, but it was a very low quality live stream, so I hope we can get our hands on uh, on the mod wave to do a proper demo on uh, on my channel. But yeah, it looks like a really nice uh, synth, and yeah, I love the Minlog XD, and hopefully the mod wave is uh, similar quality. Right, so next up we're going to look at the Korg ARP 2600M. And this is apparently a smaller sized version of the original ARP 2600FS, which was uh, announced at uh, last year's NAM 2020. And uh, it was a pretty steep price, I think it was like uh, $4,000. But it sold out pretty quickly, and now Korg has announced a smaller version, which uh, will be uh, sold as long as uh, Korg deems uh, necessary. So let's take a look at the release trailer here. It's a very nice uh, semi-modeler interface. The tons of options for modular guys. So that's the short uh, little release trailer on the ARP. I also watched uh, the uh, release uh, live stream from Korg on this ARP 2600M. It was uh, like the, the mod wave, a quite a low quality live stream. But then again, maybe we will have a look at this uh, ARP 2600M in a later video. Right, so next up we have a fun one here. This is the Korg Mini Korg 700 FS, which is a limited edition faithful reissue of Korg's oldest mass produced scent. So let's take a look at the, the release trailer here. It looks uh, really special because uh, it has all the filter controls and all the knobs on the on the bottom side. But apparently it's because uh, they were supposed to be placed uh, upon an organ. So you would have all the knobs uh, more accessible. Seems to have CV, CV in, gate in. Very nice custom case too. So that's the release trailer of the Korg, Mini Korg 700FS. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so that's a definitely a original design on a synth in this uh, Korg Mini Korg. Okay, so last but not least we will take a look at the Korg Gadget VR. So it seems like they're using the Oculus Quest VR headset in this demo. Yeah, so apparently this is a VR version of the Korg Gadget app. I've been using the Core Gadgets app uh, quite frequently on the iPad. So you can uh, access uh, all the different uh, devices and place the monitors uh, all over the place, it seems, in the VR experience. So I'm definitely going to check out this on, on the VR. Yeah, so this is what I've really been waiting for, a real uh, VR studio experience. And the Gadgets app is a really nice uh, music production app. It has uh, tons of these different uh, Korg uh, apps which you can add and, and sequence in different ways. I think you can also record audio. I actually made uh, one of the game soundtracks to uh, Aqua Motor Racing Utopia in, uh, uh, solely in the Korg Gadgets app. 
one of the cues to that game. So you can check out Aqua Motor Racing for Aqua Motor Racing Utopia on the Nintendo Switch. So the core gadgets VR is coming in 2021. So that's definitely something I'm going to check out in, in the channel. Right, so that concludes my summary of this year's uh, best new synth gear from NAM 2021, or Believe in Music, as it's now called in the digital form. What's your favorite new synths or uh, plugins this year? Now you can continue and watch my next video. My name is Matthias, and see you in the next one. Bye!